Allen test. Allen test is done to assess the circulation of the hand. The test can be performed for either the ulnar or the radial artery. The examiner applies pressure to the rest with the thumbs, including the ulnar and radial arteries. The patient then makes a fist and the hand is open and closed several times. The hand should appear blanched at this time because the arterial blood supply ulnar and radial arteries has been temporarily occluded. So we take one scenario, the thumb on the ulnar artery is then released and the hand is observed for the return of the capillary refill. If return of the color occurs quickly, then the test is considered to show a normal adequate circulation and the ulnar artery alone may be adequate or enough to supply circulation to the hand. Now we check the radial artery, the same as before the arterial blood supply is temporarily occluded and the patient opens and closes the hand. The examiner then removes the thumb that's occluding the radial artery to check the return of blood flow to the hand. If you see a normal circulation with return of the red color quickly to the hand, that means the radial artery alone supplies adequate circulation to the hand. Now the last scenario, which is the important scenario, after temporary occlusion of both arteries and release one of them, if the released artery does not result in return of the blood flow to the hand, that means this released artery does not provide adequate circulation to the hand. So if you're gonna operate near the temporary occluded artery, and if the temporary occluded artery is damaged or ligated or injured during the surgery, the other artery would not have enough ability to maintain adequate circulation to the hand. So let's illustrate that with the volar wrist ganglia around the radial artery. The volar wrist ganglia arises from the wrist joint. In case you're going to remove this volar wrist ganglia, you must do the Allen test to assess adequacy of circulation from the ulnar artery if the radial artery is injured, damaged, or ligated. And this information should be known before surgery. By doing the Allen test and temporarily occlude the radial artery and release the thumb from the ulnar artery, you could notice the circulation is adequate. So if the circulation is adequate, the physician will have the knowledge that he has adequate circulation from the ulnar artery in case he injured the radial artery. If you release the pressure on the ulnar artery while still maintaining pressure on the radial artery and if the color and the circulation does not return quickly to the hand, then the ulnar artery alone cannot maintain adequate circulation of the hand. Therefore, sacrificing this artery by injuring it, by ligating it, doing surgery on it, probably will cause problem to the circulation of the hand because the ulnar artery alone cannot provide adequate circulation to the hand. This is the situation where the radial artery is near the volar ganglia, entangling it so the physician could injure this artery during the dissection. And if the ulnar artery does not provide adequate circulation to the hand, then the circulation of the hand will be compromised. How do you know if the ulnar artery will provide enough circulation or not to the hand? By the Allen test.
In performing surgery to remove the volar wrist ganglia, the risk of injuring the radial artery should be explained to the patient. Other options such as non-operative treatment or aspiration under ultrasound guided techniques should be utilized first before surgery. If there is adequate blood supply to the hand, then the ganglion cyst can be removed knowing that the ulnar artery alone will provide more than enough blood supply to the hand just in case that the radial artery is compromised during surgery. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful.